order to make his point. I think that's dangerous politics. Well, let's talk about it with Alex Conant. He was a White House spokesman under President Bush. Steve Murphy was a media consultant for Governor Bill Richards' presidential campaign. Welcome to both of you. Steve, what about that? I mean, almost wishing that this country would be attacked again? He doesn't seriously believe that, does he? Well, he said it's like he almost wished. He didn't say that he wished. I'm sure there's a word or two there that uh, Leon Panetta would change uh, today. But look, the facts of the case, I think he's absolutely correct. Dick Cheney's behavior since he left office, his defense of the Bush administration policies in 2002 and 2003 have absolutely nothing to do with the national security debate today because those policies were all abandoned. In 2005, 6, 7, the, the Abu Ghraib was uh, closed for uh, the uh, Iraqi uh, prisoners. Uh, the renditions were ended. Uh, the sham trials, the attempt to do that at uh, Guantanamo was ended. And I'll tell you, this is one of the, the reason why Dick Cheney is doing this. It's all politics and it's all personal. He's defending himself. And I do believe, and I don't want to turn Fox News Network into a bookmaking enterprise, but I'll take a bet from anybody. If we have another al-Qaeda-backed attack against the United States here or abroad, Dick Cheney will blame the Democrats and the Obama administration. Um, Alex, uh, what about that? I mean, the, 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 the fact is the mood was a little different in this country in the days immediately after 2009-11. Well, of course the mood was different, and I think that the, the Bush-Cheney administration deserves some credit for keeping the country safe from that. I think it's amazing that we haven't had a domestic terrorist attack since 9-11, and they deserve a lot of credit for that. But, you know, e yesterday, Vice President Biden said that we shouldn't be going around questioning the motives of our opponents. And that's exactly what Obama's own CIA director was doing in that interview. During the campaign, President, or then Senator Barack Obama, fired his national security advisor because she questioned the motives and personnel behind his opponents. Why doesn't he fire Leon Panetta for these similar comments? What's different between what Samantha Power said during the campaign and what Leon Panetta said last week? I think that's a question that the Obama White House needs to answer as soon as possible. All right. What, what about that, Steve? What's different about it is Dick Cheney's egregious behavior. Nobody's ever behaved like this in office or out of office. He's behaved in a totally irresponsible fashion. So I think Leon Panetta is absolutely justified in making these remarks, although I'm sure he'd want to change a word or two. It's completely different than the instances that Alex cited during the campaign. I, here's, I, here's, here's, I, I, I think... I, Go, go ahead, Alex. Well, let me just say, Dick Cheney was a former. Dick Cheney is a former congressman, White House chief of staff, vice president. His opinion matters. He has a right to speak out and not be attacked personally, not to have his motives questioned when he does so. President Obama did not stand for that during the campaign. I don't understand why he would stand for that sort of behavior from his aides now. Let's take another look at something. He's, that, he's a uh, former vice president of the United States, and he's not acting like it. Exactly. Let's, ta let's take another look at something that uh, uh, vi former Vice President Cheney told our Sean Hannity back on April 21st. He said, what the Obama people are doing, in effect, is saying, well, we don't need these tough policies that we had. That, that says either they didn't work, which we know is not the case. They did work. They kept us safe for seven years. Or that now, somehow, the threat's gone away. Uh, I guess, you know, the old, the old saying, uh, Steve, is you can't argue with success. There wasn't another attack on this country after 9-11. John, my point is the administration abandoned those policies that he's defending themselves over the years. They wound it down over the years. They ended the renditions. They closed Abu Ghraib. That their attempt, their plan to have the trials without any rules of evidence or without the uh, terrorist suspects being able to defend themselves, that has fallen by the wayside. But Dick Cheney, Dick Cheney what, what? is simply making a political argument, period. All right. We're going to have to leave it well, there. Well, it, Real quickly, Alex. No, let me just say. That, no, let me just say. Actually, President Obama is continuing more of Dick Cheney's policies than he would like to admit. He's continuing the Bush policies in Iraq. He's taking President Bush's recommendation and sending more troops into Afghanistan. And he still does not have a plan for actually closing Guantanamo Bay. All right, Alex Conant, uh, Steve. Please stop the torture. Steve Murphy. Thank you both. <laughs> Thank you. Have you ever seen that TV show Flip?